Hello, Mr. Ankit Sharma. Welcome to your PDA. Let's start your snap interview on the subject power systems for your uh, BARC, Baba Atomic Research Center, stipend retraining, electrical engineering interview preparation, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ankit Sharma, please introduce about yourself. Uh, my name is Ankit Sharma. I belong from Hathras, Uttar Pradesh. I am completing my schooling with Rajan Vidya Vidya Mandir. And after that, I am completing my diploma in electrical engineering from Agra, Dalvag Education Institute. After that, I was preparing for the government exam examinations. That's all for me. Thank you, sir. Okay, fine. So, Ankit Sama, what yes. is power system is all about? What is happening in total power system? Uh, power system is uh, basically categorized into three parts, in which first is generation, uh, second is transmission, and third is distribution. Okay. So, where generating stations are generally located? At what locations uh, generating stations are placed generally? Sir, uh, generating stations are mainly located at the remote locations because it it required large areas to be established. That's why they are established for the remote locations. Only area is the concern or any other reasons? I think only area is uh, basic concerns for that because it will not be provided in the cities. That's why these are places or some or some or sorry, some other plants required some other uh, uh, important points like hydropower plants required uh, re reverts nearby there to generation for electricity. Okay. Me, I think that are the important point for. See, we are transmitting power at a higher and higher voltage levels. Okay, thirty three, sixty six, one thirty two, two hundred twenty, four forty. These days you can find seven sixty five kV also. What is the need of going for higher and higher voltages of transmission? So the need of uh, uh, taking the voltage higher and higher to provide the power system stability. Is it the, the power, power system stability? No, one of the major point is power system stability or there are several important points like uh, after we are increasing the voltage levels, the losses has to be reduced. So you mean to say losses are going to reduce, right? Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. can you explain how losses will be reduced if you are going with the uh, voltage? As we are ready, as we are taken from the uh, power power delivering formula P equal to V square R, P equal to V S V R XL. As we increasing the voltages, the losses are reducing because it was it was inversely proportional to the voltage square of the voltage. So that's how we are describe it. How stability is going to improve with the high voltage? Uh, uh, as we increasing the power system power system voltages with a constant power, the load angle decreases, which means the power system why, will be. Why load angle is going to decrease if you increase the voltage? Because the power because the power is a constant in as we are showing the trans uh, hiring the voltage, power is constant. So for making the power is constant, the load angle must to be decreases. That's why the load angle is decreased. Okay. What is radio interference? Uh, as we transmit the uh, our transmission lines nearby the telephonic lines, some of the flux is linked with the uh, telephonic lines, which create an interference in telephonic lines. That is called the interference, the telephonic the main, interference. Main reason for uh, radio interference. So the main reason is that some of the flux of transmission lines is linked with the Telephonic lines, which created disturbances like a noise. Why? Why some flux is going to link? Uh, from where you are getting because that flux? Uh, because both of them are uh, transmitting with a shorter distance. Sometimes, or in transmission, or in transmission lines, the unbalancing is occurs. Like voltage is unbalanced. That's why the some of the flux will link with the telephonic lines. What is transposition of transmission lines? Uh, we are we are done the transposing or transposing of transmission lines to making our system balance. At a regular interval of times, we can transpose our uh, phases at a regular interval of times with uh, so that each so that's are the regular we, intervals of time or regular intervals of distance. Regular intervals of distances so that every uh, phase will reach that different uh, every position of wire. Like if the if the wire position is in below. Then after a regular interval, 
distance it will be on the top and same as it will be under middle of the wire that's how we are balancing our voltages okay fine what is ferranti effect uh ferranti effect is uh, occurs in a medium transmission lines in which our uh, in which our transmission lines are energized with zero load or the load is disconnected in this uh, the receiving end voltage is greater than the sending end voltage it is occur just it is it is happening because of the uh, series and inductance uh, series capacitance uh, cap capacitance and inductance it is a ferranti effect sir. what is electrical corona okay electrical corona is the self electrical discharge of an electric air it will occur just because of ionization of air as we are uh, as the electric field density uh, will be increases uh, above to 21.2 kv uh, per centimeter of rms value or 30 kv per centimeter of dc of of peak value the air sure. will be ionized what is the reason behind corona what is the reason behind corona so because the electric field intensity will reduces electric field intensity yes sir okay. What are the disadvantages of corona? Uh, the disadvantage of corona is that uh, uh, as the corona will occurs, as the corona will occurs, uh, ozone gas is released, which corrodes our materials. Any other disadvantage? Uh, any other as sir, it will cause a telephonic interference also. What are the what are the other effects of corona? Sir, it will affect the power power loss will be occurs in transmission lines. Okay. Then how to reduce corona? Sir, we are reducing the corona by using the bundle conductors, or making our uh, by using the bundle conductors or reducing the reactance by increasing the distance uh, uh, GMD of conductors. What is the link between reactance and corona? Uh, sir, reactance it is a self GMD. Sorry, uh, GMD is. What is the relationship between corona and reactance? You are see sir, my question in, was what are the other okay. effects of corona? You are saying about yes. bundle conductors and all. Yes. My yes, question sir. bundle conductors, reactance decreases. That's why you are saying. That, yes, that, sir. That's, that's why you are saying. Then my question is, what is the relationship between reactance and corona and bundle conductors? Bundle conductor. Sir, so it was inversely proportional to the bundle conductors. No. So Sorry. corona corona is going to increase reactance or decrease reactance or there is no relationship between corona and reactance. So the corona will increase the reactances. Can you explain how it is? Um, as we sir increasing as corona will increases. So sir, I'm not recalling at the times. That... See why in India the frequency operating frequency is fifty hertz. Yes. Um... Sir, it will be desired with this a uh, lot of testing the different frequencies because as we are decreasing the frequency, it will cause blinkings or as we linking we seen link blinkings in our electricity. Means our bulbs will be. And why we are not going for sixty hertz or seventy hertz for high frequency? Uh, sir, it will increase the losses, like core core losses. It depend on directly on the frequencies, or. Other reason is that our system is designed with British. We are taking the all the systems from the British, which are all running in the fifty hertz. And if we using the sixty hertz, then we will change the rate all our systems. That's the main reasons for using the fifty hertz. And let me give you feedback, uh, Mr. Ankit Sharma. I yes, asked sir. fifteen questions to you. See, yes, sir. the general feedback is first of all. Yes, the way you are answering is uh, not up to the mark, I can say. See, my question, okay. you're, you are giving the answer in cuts and pieces. Okay, sir. See, you are giving what you know instead of uh, to the question what it exactly matches. Okay, See, sir. I, I can say that uh, you, are, you have the concepts, but the way yes. you are answering is uh, not meeting the requirement of the question. Suppose uh, okay. I'll come from the first question. That is, first question is uh, what is the overview of power system? Yes, that is perfect. You said power system is going to have three parts: generation, transmission, and distribution. Then, uh, why generating stations are located far? Or where the generating stations are generally located? You said far away from our load centers. Okay, you must use good technical terms. More technical terms you have to use instead of general language. Okay. okay. Well, see, uh, generating stations are located far away from load centers because of many reasons. Like uh, one of the reason is area. 
and if you if you take for example thermal station definitely it require a lot of water supplying a lot of water in the cities or in the living places or at the low centers is impossible therefore it is generally required to construct your uh, generating station thermal generating station near to the place where lots of uh, water is available right yes sir and pollution is also one of the effect if you are constructing thermal stations uh, in the city then it is going to pollute the city right yes sir so like that at least two to three reasons you have to give uh, instead of one reason that is one thing then yes, why we are going for higher and higher voltage of transmission your answer is correct that is uh, to in to have to maintain good stability and to reduce power loss but uh, yes, your i i asked the question how power loss is going to reduce for okay. for fixed amount of power transfer yes sir s is equal to v into i if s is fixed if voltage is increasing current will decrease i will decrease that is a very simple relationship you need not to go for v square by r or v square by x and all not required s is yes, equal sir. to v into i for single phase s is equal to root 3 into v into i for three phase where v yes. is uh, line voltage i is the line current but in a transmission line line current and phase current both are same right okay sir and line voltage is root 3 times of phase voltage so yes. s is equal to root 3 into v into i if voltage is increasing current is going to decrease if current is decreasing what is the power loss formula i square r for single phase for three phases it is 3 into i square r if current is decreasing obviously i square is further decreasing and power loss is decreasing that way you have to come okay right? sir and uh, um our next question is uh, how stability is increasing uh, with uh, higher and higher voltages i told you see you told that uh, load angle is going to decrease again the same concept comes here that is p at real power p is equal to e, mod vs mod vr by x into sin delta if you are increasing voltage vs and vr going to increase if i want to make the p constant then definitely sin delta has to decrease sin delta has to decrease means definitely delta must decrease right yes sir so that is so that way very clearly very clearly you must have the command on each and every term of, of the formula it's not just knowing the formula what it is how it is if it is increased darc interview is one of the uh, very good interview they they will see whether you 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 really have the command on overall subject or not okay sir so just knowing the answer is very much different from having the good command of the subject okay sir right clarity clarity and command of the subject these are the two important things right okay sir okay next step <clears throat> what is a radio interference see generally our communication lines and power lines will go side by side yes that's not the problem if your power system is unbalanced unbalanced means what ia plus ib plus ic is not equal to zero if the system is balanced at any instant ia plus ib plus ic is equal to zero right okay, sir see instant summation of all three phase currents at any instant if we must be equal to zero in a balanced system right if the system yes, is sir. unbalanced then ia plus ib plus ic is not equal to zero see flux is directly proportional to current if current summation is not equal to zero obviously flux summation is not equal to zero then there will be resultant amount of flux which is going to cut with the neighboring communication lines due to which an emf is going to induce in the neighboring communication lines that emf is going to distort the communication signals to, that is called as radio interference or tv interference or telephonic interference right okay sir. okay sir what is transposition i'll tell you one of the reason for the system to be unbalanced is a three phase unsymmetrical configuration if you take transmission tower like this phase a phase b phase c that is called as unsymmetrical configuration why we are going for unsymmetrical configuration if i am going for unsymmetrical configuration on single tower this side circuit a this side circuit b two circuits i can send at a time on a single tower that's why we are going for three phase uh, unsymmetrical or asymmetrical configuration right okay. but this unsymmetrical configuration is causing my system to be unbalanced why because gmds are not equal if gmds are not equal inductances and capacitances are per phase are not going to be equal therefore my system is going to become unbalanced if it is unbalanced there will be resultant amount of flux that flux is going to cut with the communication lines radio interference is going to happen that's why to to not to have this unbalanced effect because of unsymmetrical configuration we are going to do the positional exchange of uh, the conductors at regular equal space intervals it is called as transposition of transmission lines yes right yes. next what is the ferenti effect uh, during no load or light load condition the charging current drawn by the transmission line is a dominant 
and which is going to cause the receiving and voltage charging current means capacitive current the capacitive current is going to improve the or increase the voltage i i can't, i i should not say improve it is going to increase the voltage yes the under no load or light load conditions the receiving and voltage is going to be more than the sending and voltage this particular effect is called as parenti effect correct what is corona see if you take a conductor if you take a conductor power conductor transmission line the air surrounding the conductor is getting ionized because of electric field intensity if the electric field intensity is going to be more, is more than 21.1 kv per centimeter rms value or 30 kv per centimeter peak value then the air, the air surrounding the conductor is going to get ionized and it acts like a conductor air is going to act like a conductor due to which I, for the process of ionization some power loss is going to happen and uh, this during the ionization process you are going to listen some sound and uh, some ozone gas is produced and some light also is going to produce the major the major disadvantage of corona is a short circuit suppose if you take two power power conductors phase a and phase b between these two air is there that air completely gets ionized these two phases will directly get short circuit okay right? that is a major disadvantage but we are going to keep the enough distance then what is the next uh, major disadvantage because of corona is uh, power loss is going to take place right and there are what are the disadvantages of corona the main is power loss and uh, short circuit if you are not maintaining the enough distance then short circuit is going to happen right then how to decrease the corona main the main uh, thing to decrease the corona is we are going for bundle conductors if you are using bundle conductor self gmd is going to be more the self self gmd is more we going to be more than gmr due to which electric field intensity is going to decrease therefore corona is going to decrease other okay. advantages of bundle conductors are transmission tra transmission line reactance will decrease transmission line reactance is nothing to do with the corona to reduce corona loss i am going for bundle conductors because of that i am getting some other advantages like a transmission line reactance is going to decrease stability is going to increase right yes sir yes sir not and uh, i can i can send more amount of power right so these are the other advantages of bundle conductors okay sir right? so why 50 hertz your answer is uh, okay see uh, ankit sharma one point yes, i want sir. to tell you very clearly one point i want to tell you very clearly is that you question yourself every answer you know why this is why not? yes sir why not the other thing okay exactly why this answer is going to suit for every answer there must to be a solid standard reason yes sir evidence based approach is very important okay and right so yes. that that will that will convey that to the interviewer that you are having good concepts right okay okay so all the best uh, ankit sharma uh, yes sir uh, st uh, keep giving uh, more and more snaps with the european mentors right okay sir okay sir.